Hello friends, welcome to Squared Plans. I'm Stephanie and today we're going to be setting up our horizontal planners for the next week in March. And I've got these highlighters here ready to go, as well as these washi tapes I may use these washi papers as well from Michaels a long time ago and some old cardstock that I pulled out of my stash and these sticker books which I'll pull from. So this week I'm happy to announce there is a sticker book giveaway for my viewers being hosted by Anna Bean Paper Company. She'll be giving away a Florals Volume 1 sticker book to one of my lucky viewers. Only open to U.S. residents, but if you are interested in entering, please check out the description below for details and her shop as well. She has some great items in there that I know you'll love. I'll be featuring this Florals sticker book today in my spread. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and lay down some wax paper, as you guys know I like to do. This week I decided that I wanted to participate in the Planners for Peace hashtag that's been going around, as well as answer a request by one of my subscribers for a Ukraine blue and yellow themed planner spread, just to show our support for Ukraine and the hope for the peace to come in that country as soon as possible. So I went ahead and grabbed out some cardstock in a blue I thought was a pretty good blue for the colors of the Ukrainian flag. And then I also just grabbed out my mega rainbow sticker book for those two yellow piece quotes I pulled out at the top, as well as another quote in a blue that I think I'm gonna try to work in as well. I'll also be using Anna Bean's sticker book, like I said, for all of the main decor items for the spread. I am going to use mainly the yellow and blue butterflies, as well as the yellow boxes and the yellow uh, florals there that you see I pulled one at least there on the side. So I've already started with laying down a bit of that cardstock there in the This Week area. And I put it underneath the wax paper so I can try some things on top of it and just see how I like that and if I think that'll work. And I will do, I think, the same kind of thing with the torn paper at the top, just to have a nice contrast of blue on the spread, because most of the other items I'll be using will be yellow. And when you rip cardstock, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed this, but there's always one side that has a white edge and one that doesn't. So I'm just trying to minimize the white edge on this guy here at the top, just so it blends a little bit better and it's a little bit cleaner there. I think that the contrast with the blues in the corner will be really nice. I'm also gonna cut up this quote that said, thankful, grateful, blessed and just use the blessed out of it, mainly because it was blue and because I thought it worked together well as one quote being peace, blessed peace. That's uh, kind of a created quote made out of a bunch of separate ones, but I think that'll be a nice just touch and the yellow and blue is perfect. And now I'm starting to bring in a few more of the decor items from Anna's book. I am bringing in a lot more of the butterflies and then I'm gonna rework this quote a little bit just so it looks a little more interesting. And I think what I wanna do is down here at the bottom kind of focus the floral elements a bit. I was thinking more like a mountain range even, kind of with the blues, but 
then I looked it up to be sure, and I, I kind of found out that Ukraine really doesn't have a lot of mountains, just on the edges. <laughs> so we'll just say it's blue for the country <laughs> and call it a day, and not try to work something in that might not quite fit. And now I'm going to start bringing in some of the washi tape as well. I had this nice blue and yellow washi tape that I, again, just thought it would be good for the color scheme and a little bit more interest there on the spread. Both of these washi tapes I got from Daiso, I believe. And I'm pulling in a lot of the colorful boxes from Anna's book. She has some really nice coordinating boxes, which is great when you get a sticker book. And they're just simple. They don't have any headers or anything like that, which is always a pet peeve of mine with some of the Happy Planner stuff. I like just the basic boxes that Anna here has done in her book that coordinate with the decor inside of the sticker book. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out a few more of those boxes and lay those in and then just see if there's anything else I want to add in here for a little extra visual interest. Maybe a few more of those butterflies. I needed to trim off the washi tape a little bit because it was uh, had a really flat edge on one side and I wanted it to look a little bit more organic. One thing I'm really liking, and I don't know if you guys can kind of see this, but there's a bit of green in the florals, and when you layer the blue and the yellow washi together, you get a green. So it kind of just brings that green element in, even though it's really not a main feature. It just kind of hints at it and helps bring that little touch of green that's in the florals into the whole spread and kind of spreads it around a little bit. So I think I've laid down most of the decor that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the rainbow mega sticker book that I have and maybe try to find a few more yellow or blue elements to bring in for a little bit of extra decor spread around. And again, I'm thinking about functionality. I don't want anything to be completely covered thought I might need to move this quote so that I could place a space for like a focus area there on Sunday and then I realized well I won't really have the room to do a checklist in the placement that I have there so I'm just gonna rework this a little bit try to figure out a good spot that will give me that room I need for a checklist and also maybe a focus area And I really like these little sign style banner headers here. Kind of reminds me of, you know, when you're in a place where they have those road signs. So I thought that was a nice little addition. And just kind of skimming through the book again, seeing if there's anything else I wanted to add in here. Thought it would be nice to bring in some more of the butterflies for some decor spread around. I was really worried about scale though. I didn't want to bring in too many of the same size or ones that were too big and too small. So just trying to work things out and make sure that everything feels nice and proportioned. I think that works. I like how everything is flowing so far. I'm going to go ahead and clean up a little bit and get started on the actual spread. I'm just going to trim this guy up a little bit on the edge so that it doesn't overlap to the next page. 
And since I'm going to be covering up the March there in the corner, I'm just going to see in my Dates and Holidays sticker book if I have another March that I could bring in. I'll also be covering up Monday, but I'm not as worried about that as I am the actual month. I just kind of really wanted that March to still be there. I'm going to go ahead and glue down the cardstock with my Tombow glue runner. I like to do one side first, line that up how I want it, and then glue down the rest. It's a little technique I use. It just helps me keep things straight. This guy here it was kind of crooked because I cut it just on a whim with my scissors. I didn't really have a straight edge to cut it with, so I'll just cut it on the edge of the page now that I have it set. And clean up that edge. I'll also go ahead and move over this top section of stickers. And find good placement for this March sticker. And again, just moving things over bit by bit here. I do a little overlap, I think, with these butterflies. And move over the washi tape. So what I think I want to do here is actually roll off the bottom florals onto this spread just so that the placement's exactly how I had it there on the wax paper. So I don't have to worry about, you know, resetting the placement. So I'm going to go ahead and move over the one that is on the right hand side of the page. But first I'm going to white out the line behind it, the darker line, so that it's a little cleaner looking when it's all said and done. I'll also need to cut out the overlap in the disc holes. So I'll just do that real quick with my precision cutter. And here's where I'll do the roll off technique off the wax paper onto the page. It just helps when you've already preset good placement for something and if the stickers work. I mean, it definitely depends on how you have the stickers laid out on the page, but most of the time, like with larger stickers like this, you can get a nice clean roll off, especially with a blunt edge like that. So I did that. It turned out pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and trim off the excess, maybe using some of these pieces somewhere else in the spread. We'll see. And I thought I might be able to use some of these scraps at the bottom, but I don't want it to get too cluttered feeling, so we'll save those for another time. And I went ahead and cleaned out the hole there, and now we'll move on to the opposite side. Start laying in those box stickers as well. I decided I didn't want to stagger these boxes after I started laying them in, so I just kind of cleaned up the alignment there, and I'm going to move on to the washi tape. And again, just kind of cleaning up the placement a little bit there as I laid that in. I'm using my white Sakura Jelly Roll pen to white out those darker lines. And again, give me a cleaner look behind those clear stickers. I need to figure out exact placement here for this quote. Again, thinking about functionality. But first I need to actually white out the lines that will be affected. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And move this guy over. And 
that looks good. I'm just going to go ahead and clean up some of the excess lines and put in my checklist using the mild liner that I pulled earlier. And once I am done with that, you guys, we will be done, friends. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch. And think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye.